So before we actually start writing React applications, it might be useful just to have a brief overview of how React works and how it's different from a standard website. So this is a version of what we'll be building in the coming lectures in this course. And it looks just like a regular website. It's not particularly pretty, but I'm not putting a lot of effort into making it attractive. I'm more interested in functionality right now. So we have our menu on the left, and each of these appears to link to a different page. And that's exactly what the end user sees. We have a login screen. We have all the things you would expect to find here. The difference is that if I view source on this, and I'm going to use the view source functionality in my browser, you would expect to see go watch a movie, find a movie to watch tonight, an image and so forth, but look at what we actually see. This is it. We have the body, which begins here on line 18 and ends here. And in between, we have an empty div and a little no script warning for people to try to hit the site without JavaScript and a link to a, a bundle.js and then a couple of other JS files as well. And that's it. So there appears to be actually no content on this. But if instead we inspect the page, so I'll inspect it right now, you can see that we actually have a whole lot of HTML. Now where does this HTML come from? Well, it's actually constructed by the JavaScript. So in other words, if you try to hit this site without JavaScript, you're not going to see anything. Now, fortunately, almost nobody does anything with JavaScript disabled, so that's really not much of an issue for us. But this is literally one web page, and that's why this is called a single page app. So when you look at this, we actually have one component that is the entirety of the web page, everything that you see right now. And inside of that, we have a component for the menu on the left, a component for the content in the center, and it actually gets more complex than that. So let me log in. This form, for example, consists of an overall component, and then it has the login component, and each of these is actually another component. So let me log in. And let's manage our catalog and click on a movie. Now this form is itself a component within a component, but this title input and this runtime input and this MPAA rating, these are all individual reusable components. And that's part of what makes React such a powerful and useful means of building a website. You can create reusable components and use them as many times as you need to and actually adjust them or modify them for a specific use case but they're all literally the same component. So all of the text inputs on this form are the same component with a few different properties passed to them. The drop down here for MPA rating, that's another component. The text area is another component. And all of these can be used wherever I want in my web application. So we need to change the way that we think about building web pages, plural, because we're really building one web page, singular, that consists of a variety of components that are customized and deployed to meet our needs of the moment. So let's get started. 